Alrighty, hey what's up, hello, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel if you're new here, my name is Emma and if you're not new here then my name is still Emma. Today, I don't really know what I'm going to title this because I don't want to clickbait it but then I also don't want to make it sound like I'm actually good at makeup. So, depending on what I have titled it, basically the gist of today's video is that I'm going to be doing my makeup and for some context, because I know you're thinking, oh yeah, you're 17, you wear makeup all the time. And if you're familiar with my channel, you'll be aware that I don't. Disclaimer for starters, my skin is fine. I just have psoriasis, so my skin grows too fast and goes all spotty like so. Today I'm going to be doing my makeup. I feel like I've tried to do it before, but I feel like it's never, ever really worked. So today I'm actually going to try. I've got, you can't see it, but I've got my laptop over here. And I've got a little tutorial up. Well, not a tutorial, just like a step-by-step -step thing. Because I don't even know what order to put it on. And that's how bad I am. So this is my setup. Brows first, then concealer, then foundation, then eyes, then cheeks, the blush, then highlighter, contour. <laughs> I'm setting it with found the, the powdered stuff. Mascara, which I think is expired, so we'll find out about that later. And lip balm, because I have got this from the ball, but you best believe I'm not putting that on right now, because I will look like a clown. I've got some brushes here. Never used them before, so these are officially getting baptised today. These are the Real Technique ones, and these are um, Nasia ones. I have got this thing here, because I saw Karina using one, and I was like, that looks really cool, so... I don't really know. Mmm. 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 That ain't it. And no, this is not dandruff, guys. This is still psoriasis. Don't tell me to use head and shoulders, please. Right. Brows. <laughs> my friends used to make fun of me because I used to use this for my brows. Which is a good product, may I add. There's the Ulta 3 Brow Pencil. And it kind of came out orange because I used to press it so hard. Yeah, also, this is your first time seeing my face. This is not the videos that I normally do. I'm also, I need to get my eyebrows done. I haven't had them done in so long. But I can't get them waxed because my skin's so flared up under here. If I wax it, it's just going to bleed for like three years. Okay, I've got the brow stuff from Duty Free from Benefit which I got in July and I've used it like three times because I don't really know what I'm doing and it's probably actually expired. I'm going to use the Gimme Brow which is like the mascara for your brows. It's going to be an issue here. Oh no, oh it's on the floor now. Okay. Uh, oh, now it's got hair on it. This video is the biggest stitch up. I would love to wear makeup but I just can't be bothered. Like you know, it takes me long enough to get ready in the morning. Let alone adding on this. And I know that my skin will just get so angry at me if I decide to wear it every day. Mm, is this the right one? Mm, nope, nope, nope. That's for outlining it. I don't like outlining my brows. So we're just going to skip straight to the little... This little... Cabral. And it's got the cute little thingy in the lid. If you came here for a makeup tutorial, you've come to the wrong place. If I actually look better when I finish this than I did beforehand, I will be surprised. Well, I think that I'm just going to leave that at that. My brows are really long and they need a bit of taming, but that can't be sorted today. So we're just going to move on. It's time to do foundation and then concealer. But I know the concealer's paler than... Oh, this is all Revlon stuff, by the way. I know the concealer... Or maybe it's not. It's more pale than the foundation. I don't... Mm. Surely these brushes tell me what I'm supposed to do. Domed shadow. No, that... Oh, shh. S smudge shape. Oh, these are all eyebrow brushes. Oh man. Oh wait, this is a concealer brush. Nope, that's an eye blender brush. This is a concealer. Nope, that's eyeshadow. This is a concealer brush. Yes, full of dust because it just sits on my dressing table to look pretty. Under my eyes, under, oh to the lids. Oh, okay. Right, under the eyes. That is not my colour. You know what, that's all we've got to work with today so let's keep going. <laughs> Eyelid was bleeding this morning. I need to like put something on that to like Yeah, that'll do. What do I use? Do I use a uh, maybe I'll just use this. Oh Man, you guys are gonna be laughing in the comments because this is not my color at all Oh Mate, that's disgusting Okay this was not a good idea, but we've already started, so we're going to finish. Oh man, this is tragic. Now we have foundation. Focus on the areas you want to even out and leave the rest of the face foundation free. Well, the whole entire of my face needs evening out because this is not going to be my colour, so we're just going to have to blend it right down everywhere. I've got school graduation in like two, three weeks, and I've got like a nice dress for it and everything, 
and I'm gonna wear heels and stuff. So it's like pretty formal. But anyway, I want to wear makeup for it. So I was like, oh, I'll just get someone to do my makeup. But that's proving quite difficult to find someone who's actually like around to do it. And so this is me kind of a test run to see if I can do it myself for graduation. And I think the answer is already no. So I'm going to find someone to do my makeup between now and graduation. Because, oh my... I don't think this is showing up as bad on camera. You know when old people put on too much foundation and it goes all cakey? That is literally what my face looks like right now. If you have nice skin and you can do makeup, I'm very jealous of you. Right, that's done. Add eyeshadow. Well, this is the little eyeshadow palette that I have. I used to sit on the counter at work and I used to do little swatches of it on my hand. Just like when there was no customers in the shop. It's like still sealed, like I haven't even opened it. It's the Revlon Original Color Stay Eyeshadow Lookbook Palette. Wow. So I've got some brushes here for these NA show brushes. Well, I don't really know what color to do. How to do eyeshadow. How to apply eyeshadow for beginners. Beginners, that's what we need. Imagine if this actually looked good, that'd be hilarious. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna put a color on that I think looks nice. I don't know. Oh, apply. This one says apply, that one says blend, and that one says define. So we're going to use a, a, the apply brush. I'm going to do any, mini miny, mo, catch a ticket by the toe. If it's good, let it go. Any, mini miny. We're not doing black. Black eye show is not smoky. It's not smoky eye season. Maybe I'll just do the sparkly one. The sparkly one looks cute. Why would you, how do you do this? Oh boy. I feel like a little kid who just got into their mum's eyeshadow. This is so bad. Should I just do them both different colours at this point? Because, I mean, I can't save this. This was the worst idea. I wish I could tell you I was kidding right now, but I actually don't know what I'm doing. Okay, these actually kind of don't look that bad from like a distance. See, it looks really good. Okay, we can put the eyeshadow brushes away. That was a bit ambitious. Eyeliner, no, because I will poke out my eyeballs. Blush, this is for highlighting, but it's pink. So surely we can just use it as blush. Now, I'm just going to use this. I don't know if this is the right brush. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Apply blush to apples of cheeks. Is it these things? I think so. That's literally, that literally is highlighter. I have two sunshines on my cheeks. Fine, it's fine, it's fine. Highlighter. I have the Sculpt and Highlighter Pack in light medium from Revlon. Co-developed with Chloe Morello. Don't know who that is. She's international beauty blogger. So, someone who obviously knows how to do makeup better than I do. Does it give you instructions? Oh, it does. Conceal under the, oh, and conceal under the eyes. Dang it. Could have used that before. The top of cheekbones. Oh, that's the wrong colour. That's a literal line. Oh, boy. That literally looks like I've smeared dirt on the side of my face. And down here. I need a little brush to do. That's disgusting. It's really gross because normally I have to get my like moustache like waxed off. Not because I have a full blown moustache, but because I was on medication, which meant that I had a moustache. But I'm now off the medication. I probably need to get it waxed one more time. But I haven't yet, and it's looking kind of disgusting, but that's fine. So to all the girls out there who have a moustache, it's okay. You're not alone. I use, That's the wrong colour. All good. Maybe I should just make my psoriasis brown and then I blend in with my hair. This is so bad. Maybe if it's blended in enough, it'll wipe it off because the beauty blender is like kind of weird. Okay, we'll put the little plastic thing back on there because we probably won't be using this again anytime soon. Well, may I just also say this is not a review of these items either because I feel like they're actually really good products. I just don't know how to use them. What comes next? Highlighter, contour, done. This says to add a statement lip, but you best believe I'm just doing lip balm. Because I'm pretty much like 12 years old anyway. So this is the Pure Fiji Pina Colada Lip Balm. So good. It tastes really good too, not gonna lie. It tastes like pineapple. The next question is how long I'm gonna leave this on for? Probably gonna take it off right after this video, not gonna lie. The thing is, I think this kind of looks good from the camera, but in person it looks so bad. My eyebrows look kind of greenish, grey kind of. Uh, my bags under my eyes have got like um, foundation stuck to them. Lips dry as a Sahara Desert. My nose has absolutely no definition whatsoever. It says to use powder, but I'm not going to because that's just going to make the situation worse. So I'm just going to put that away. And last thing, put on some mascara. I have this Revlon one, which is not the waterproof one. I have it in waterproof and not in waterproof. Let's not. 
poke out our eyeballs. My eyelashes are literally falling out. Like I lost so many of them yesterday. I have like none left. Okay, spider webs are complete. And here we have the finished look. Hang on, let me take this. If I remember, I will link all the products I use down below. So if you want to try them for yourself and actually see if they're good or not, then you you can do that. But yeah, this is the final finished complete look. I will not be doing my own makeup for graduation. I will be calling the makeup artist that I had in mind straight after this. That is all for today's video. If you learned something from this video, then I will be very surprised. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you're feeling so kind. And please, if you are going to roast me about my makeup abilities, can you please at least make it constructive so that I have something to go off for future reference when I try and do this again. A maximum smile and I'll see you guys in my video next week. Well, hey, at least Face ID still recognizes me. Properly, like, oh, oh, I thought the numbers meant what order you're supposed to do it in, but that's the shade number. They're absolutely disgusting. Okay, mm, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> that's not my color. Why is this thing kitty locked? I like your best features. I was hard my whole entire face then. Thank you.